Hey. Let that smoke clear, baby. Let it baby. clear. All right, show, all right. Show. We here, brother. Yes, talk yes, to yes, us. Yes. Talk to us. Okay. It's 2024. We got some we got some new uh new topics, new things, new things we're trying to do. What you got for us, nephew? Okay, congregation, this is the topic right here. Is comparing your ex to your next beneficial. Think about it, mm. because I know we all do it. And I'm gonna say, mm. um, subconsciously, men and women do it. I say I know women do it. I got a lot of lady friends, and they always say things, mm -hmm. ah, Mitch, he like this, but I think about my old person. Should I do that? So I want you to go first on this one, Kane. Well, well, is it beneficial? What's the pros and cons? Uh, okay, so if you want to look at it as beneficial, if you want to compare something, um, a lot of people be in relationships, right? And they're in it for the long haul, right? They're in it, they're in it, they're focused. But at the same time, you, you're dealing with certain situations that you didn't pay attention to because they were red flags, right? Mm. The red flags nowadays they're red flags so when you uh go into that next relationship you start looking for those red flags mm. some of those issues are things that uh you sh you should have known the first go around but the second go around it's like i see it now and some people ignore it still because some like some people like to be in that that drama you know they, they like that because you can go a different way in a relationship. You can be like, all right, the last one, the um, it was toxic. It, a lot of things were going on. But then this new one is so peaceful. And then you, you, you're yearning for what you used to because it's like, man, I've been in this been in this relationship for so long. I, and I, I'm so used to this. And I'm, I'm so used to all this toxic toxicity. But then I'm in this new relationship and it's totally different. So you tend to compare because of longevity of the relationship and what you've gone through or whatever. Now, should you? Mm. Come on. Should you? Should you compare? Well, I I don't think you should compare because everybody's different. So you can't um, impose something that a, the previous relationship or the previous person that you were dating or married or whatever, right? You can't impose those same attributes to this new person. You can't. You just can't because they're different. Now, when you start seeing some of those flags, then you can kind of like, okay, okay, I, I see where it's going. This seems similar. Okay. Let me keep my eyes and my ears open to what's going on. Pay attention to my uh, significant other. What do well, you think? Kane, uh, you said a lot of I good, a lot. Points. A yeah, lot of good points on that. I appreciate mm -hmm. that, uh, brother. The congregation, the family, the Canaan Knights. We haven't mm -hmm. heard that in a while, so Kane and Nice. In the comments. Hit my in boy the comments. up. Hit them up. Hit in the comments. Hey, hit that thumbs up, bro. Yeah. Thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, it don't cost nothing and hit subscribe. It don't cost nothing. Yes. But sir. let's hear what Mitch got to say. Well, hey, on that, uh I think you said we shouldn't do it, but it's just natural to yeah. do it. We yeah. do it and not even thinking about it because you said a couple of good things in there where you could be in a toxic relationship and then you're in this relationship, it could be peaceful. And sometimes that person may not be used to that. And yeah. you bring in, and we done heard this, mm -hmm. you don't want to bring any old baggage into yeah. that relationship. But yet it's still it's ingrained sometime yeah. Yeah. in our minds, in our hearts to do mm -hmm. that. Hey, mm -hmm. man, he doing so good or she doing so good, but I'm just waiting. It, this can't be real. So we gotta we gotta let it let it loose. You know, you can one thing you did say I agree with is those right. red flags. You don't said that in several different topics. When we see those red flags, you do have to take note. And that's coming mm -hmm. from experience from both of us. Just take notes. Mm -hmm. Enough red flags, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Because you don't have time to waste. We don't have time to waste, but as far as um having certain qualities that x and then the 
person that you're talking to now, I would kind of hone in on that uh, just a little bit because you know what you don't like and what you don't want. And then that communication, hey, I noticed this right here, uh, him or her, and talk about it. Try to nip it in the bud. And one thing I will go with you on, on this saying that you said a long time ago when we had personal talks, always being truthful is the best policy. I'm telling you, bro, that is the best way to do it, man. You always want to be truthful. And I, I want to ask you a question, though. Uh, you know how you mentioned um, red flags. And just for the congregation and uh, in the comment section, if you can uh, join us, too, uh, what are some of those red flags that we can, you know, we run across when in those relationships that, you know, kind of gets our, you know, uh, antennas perked up and say, you know what, <laughs> uh, I can't deal with this or something. You know what I mean? Well... From a male's perspective, female, uh, uh, they, you know, you guys can put it in the comments too as well. But I, we're just speaking from the male perspective because we can't speak for the females. Guaranteed. Well, I will say this, Kane. Go ahead. It's not being about if the person you're dating, male, female, uh -huh. uh, if it's uh -huh. always about them in every aspect and you uh -huh. don't get to voice uh, your opinion or, uh, whatever you like, we can't do that together. It can't always be about putting that individual on a pedestal. That is the wrong okay. way to go. Okay. okay. And y'all have to understand it because the, the 16.6 .6 women that watch this station right here. Okay. This content, um, oh, don't argue with me on this, <laughs> um, because we, we do, we want to, uh, we men, we love the ladies, uh, protect all of those good things, but we can't have them as a, a deity or whatever. No, we're on the same level. So I want you to like some of the things that I like or just attempt. If it's sports, football games, whatever, hey, let's do this together. Let's go to a game together. Sometimes we have to humble ourselves in the relationship to make it work. You can say, okay, I don't like to go shopping, okay, with my lady, but I will do it from time to time. That doesn't that doesn't hurt anyone or whatever. But if it's always about them, what they want, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. To me, oh yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. And um like yeah, and, and that's just one of the many, maybe for the different guys or whatever, which is fine. Everybody have their own red flags. Everybody has their own thresholds. You know, I can take it up to this point, but if it reached this particular point, <laughs> that's it. I'm done. I'm done. And, and and that's that's you know with any man or whatever. But um, I want to go back to you know when we were talking about comparing the exes to the uh, your next person that's that's in your life or whatever. Do you feel like, and from this, from a man perspective, right? Uh -huh. Do yeah. you feel like, um, uh, you know, a divorcee uh, male that uh, is looking for the next is looking for somebody that's similar to their previous? That, that, that's a beautiful question. In case I get a little personal, mm -hmm. when I got my divorce and was went on the site and everything, and was looking at different people and mm -hmm. I remember I picked someone that almost resembled my ex-wife and a personal conversation. I was with mm -hmm. you. If you remember that, yeah, you, said, I remember hey, that. you know what I you mean, just did? I didn't I even said, realize that. Didn't even I realize you, it. I said it looked just like it. I was like, oh, I was like man, you personal you're not even. <laughs> yes. So we yeah, do those that. things unbeknownst mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to, you know, it's just in us. So yeah. it's uh, a creature of habit. You know, yes, we've, been, yes. we've been with that and this is what we know. So that's what we, we rely on. We rely on these habits and these things that we our experiences and yeah. we just kind of build upon it. And, you know? and maybe it was, you know, the features and everything, but it was just, mm -hmm. that was a, a wild experience right there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That now, see, see, something like that, man, is just it's so crazy how we we stick to these different things. And this is just like I said from the man perspective, how we just stick to the same old, same old, even though it may be toxic. It can be us because you've seen different instances where guys are with these uh particular ladies that definitely are not you know that they are not good wife and material, but they're still with them. You know, because of the antics that they, you know, pull away. Okay. They're still with them. Now, does that draw from what does that draw from? I don't I don't Okay. It may be it may be a little a little punch or whatever, but where does that draw from? Where is he uh fixating these particular women that are knowing he knows that though they are not good for him, but he's still drawn to them? Where is he getting that that uh that spirit from? Well, Kane, I can say this. Uh, to me, it is a thing. It may have not been proven by science, but a dysfunctional relationship and you're used to it and you don't been in it for so long that mm -hmm. is the relationship that defines that party right there and if you don't if you've been living in that that it will define you and now you're not used to even if you somehow break away from it you're not healed you're not you're not ready for that peaceful because you will look and you might end a peaceful relationship because you're used to that dysfunctional relationship. And that is the thing. And a lot of people live in that. I got, I got one for you. Remember we did a, a episode, check it out. You guys check it out. Like, um, like mother, like wife. I think that was one of our episodes, right? This is, uh, this is definitely 2023 or whatever, but check it, check it out. You know, we'll put it in the description too, as well. But do you feel like how you grew up and how you were raised and things that you were experienced, maybe it's dysfunctional, maybe it's chaotic in your, you know, your youth. And then you look for that as you get older. Not you're not looking for it like I'm seeking out chaos, but you seem to be drawn to it. That spirit seems to be drawing you to chaos and you're living in it and loving it Kane. in some kind of way. Can you cooking right now? Because uh, I'm on this unbeknownst word, but unbeknownst to the individual, look, when we'll say uh, the female, she's uh, a kid, used to her father, if he's in the life or whatever, who's the mother's dealing with, and he's aggressive, maybe physically, verbally abusive. And then later on in life, she finds herself in the exact same relationship. That's from her, her past going up to now it's inside of her. Why is she attracting that type of man who's going to do the same thing that she saw happen to her mother? And for men who had uh, mothers that was uh, verbally aggressive and maybe physical abusive, Sometimes they seem to find their self with a relationship with a female that's just like that. And you say time to break the curse. It is time to get some healing and uh, break those curses. Uh, man. Come on now. Can I get a pump, 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 pump? Yeah. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. So, so when you, because you, we, we talked about how we, um, as you know, men or whatever, we talked about how we kind of prejudge the situation before we get into it because of our ex or whatever. Right. right. When, do you, when does it, when do you think it is, is, is too far gone? Like you've been engulfed in whatever situation you've been in and now you're trying to get into a new situation. Do you think, do you think that that chapter needs to close completely before you can actually move on to the next? Or is it okay to kind of keep the door open a little bit just to kind of, you know, before I get up, before I move on? Okay, I was Because people do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. They're ready to move, but in their mind, they're ready to move, but in their heart, they, yeah. they're not really ready. You know what I mean? They can't let go of that chain. They can't let go of that that lifeline that you're leaving for that that ex. Well, well Kane, I'll say this on that right there. Um, we need to to close it. You do need to close it to, to get that satisfaction, that healing, 
but you have to be aware of the red flags. So if that's leaving it correct for a second, just to be aware, you have to be aware of the red flags. Now, as far as bringing it back into the relationship, all of that other stuff, the prejudge and the past, we have to let it, we have to close that door, but you just have to be mindful of the red flags because you I can't the, go I for the red flag. Okay. I the red flag, but you, I mean, close the door. Well, then close, close the door. The, close yeah. the door. My, yeah. my thing is close the door. Mm -hmm. Leave that where, where it was. It was a learning opportunity. You learn from that. You learn what red flags are. You know exactly what's going on. Leave it there. Why keep bringing it up? My ex used to do blah 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 blah. Oh come on! Oh, I got into a uh, uh, um, I got into a uh, argument with my ex, and we used to fight. We used to do this da 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 da. da. I, I I can care less. I can care less about what you used to do with your ex. Mm -hmm. Focus on me right now. Mm -hmm. Your need to, need not to be that little crack that you're talking about. Leaving that door open. That's what you're doing because you're leaving those memories open so you can go ahead and display them. So that's why you're interjecting. Have you have you ever been with someone that says something like that? My ex, or and then we don't like hearing stuff like that. Men yes. don't, and I know yeah. ladies would never like to hear. Uh, yeah. Man, my ex used to no way she that cooked be like, or she, she like, you ain't like this. Let them know. Mm -mm. You know, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, you Leave messing it up. There. You Leave messing it up. There. Yeah. So, so as long as you keep your mind in the past, you're gonna stay in the past. So you're gonna always compare your your ex to your next. You're yeah. going to always do that. It's going to always happen. Even if it's in the bedroom, if it's a relationship, it's going to always be there. Leave it there. <laughs> Leave it there. Don't bring up anything about a bedroom, okay? <laughs> unless, <the> bedroom. <laughs> uh, unless we had to wash the sheets together. Don't bring up anything. About, come on, people. I'm trying to save relationships right now. <laughs> uh, and, and, and you should never do that. You should never do this. This is a new, this is a new beginning. Yes. If you want this new beginning, you got to leave some things behind. It, uh, or then you just kind of re repeating what you have or whatever, or you leaving that door or you leaving those, um, those, um, uh, how should I say? You're leaving those contacts in your phone. You're leaving those contacts. Ooh. like, you know, just in case. Delete. You know, leave it alone. Delete it. Well, for what? <laughs> what do you need them for? What do you need them for? We're What's just friends. Now. You're leaving that crack open, right? You're leaving Dang. that crack open. <laughs> That's what people do. Me. I'm telling you, people do it all the time, bro. What's your final thoughts on this one, Bray? Um, I'm just going to say what you just said right there. Mm -hmm. Delete it. No contact. We don't need to judge our next by our ex. Just be aware of the red flags. That's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree with it. That's what we've been saying. In the comments. In the comments, bro. We were hey, I'm telling you, we respond to it. If you made it this far, if you made it this far, hit that like button. Thumbs up, man. It don't, it, it's nothing. Do that. Man, hit subscribe. You know, you know, hit, hit us up, man. And we'll continue this conversation offline. Guaranteed. Right. Because what? It's the uncomfortable truth. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Hey. Let's go. Bye bye. For sure. Roger that. It was comparing your okay. ex with the, okay, cut, cut. Darn it, that was a fire thing. Can we cut? Can you come on, gamer? Oh, man, we got to go back in. I like that fire, man. Yeah, darn it, my bad. What man, happened? we was cooking. I was like, dude, we did nothing. I, was I like, know my happened? mind just got clicked on, man. It's comparing <laughs> your ex to you. <laughs> ah! You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 